Growing up, I played baseball, basketball, soccer, and, and when I was about 13 is when I quit those and went, you know, full time into golf. And I wasn't the best junior player. Uh, I knew I wanted to be, but I just wasn't. And and uh, I knew I had the work ethic, though, and I knew I, I knew where I could get to. So my goal was really just to get better each year or every day. And um, so when I when I went to VCU, it was the only school that offered me a scholarship. And uh, so I went there and my, my freshman year wasn't great and then by my senior year I'd, I'd got a lot better and, and I knew I was good enough to play pro but I wasn't going to you know, light the world on fire. So uh, the first couple years on mini tours I had enough success to kind of keep the dream alive I guess and, and I think in about 2014, 2015 I, I got status on the Corn Ferry Tour. I had tried for the Corn Ferry, or I, I tried on the Corn Ferry Tour three or four times and failed. And, and uh, so I ended up going out and playing in Latin America for two years and traveled to probably 15 to 20 different countries down there all over, not speaking Spanish. And, uh, and that was probably one of the better decisions I made from a career standpoint, just from the fact of traveling, airplane rides, trying to navigate the world in a country you don't speak the language. So uh, 2017 or the end of 2016, I made it to final stage of Q School for the Corn Ferry Tour. And I had conditional status in 2017, and it's it's kind of you 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 felt like you're kind of high up on the Latin tour, and then you go to the Corn Ferry tour, and you felt like you're kind of a rookie again. So after I think eight or ten events, I had made I think I was 135th on the on the money list, and and uh, I made the cut in Nashville on the number, and and uh, ended up winning the event. I shot 62, 68 on the weekend, and so I went from. 135th on the money list, the top 25, and having a chance at my, my PGA Tour card. And the, I ended up finishing that season making the last 10 cuts out there after having a really rough first start. So that, just getting over that hurdle of winning in Nashville on the Corn Ferry Tour was, was kind of all the confidence that I needed. And I, I rode that out and and then I earned my PGA Tour card for the 2018 season and um, went right back to then down to being a rookie. And uh, I was uncomfortable. You know, you're you're playing all these courses you watch on TV with all these big names, and and I just it was it was too much for me at the time. And uh, at the end of that year, I, I made my last eight cuts on the PGA Tour, and so then I left the PGA Tour and went back to the Corn Ferry Tour with in my mind that I can play out here. So I went back to the Corn Ferry Tour where I felt like I was one of the better players, and and um, I think I finished top ten on the money list that year, and went back to the PGA Tour and. And then I went back to the PJ Tour and I felt comfortable there because I'd had so much, so much success on, on the Corn Ferry Tour and, and ended up winning in Houston. So it's weird looking back, just all the hurdles that you're, you're, you go through in your career and, and all the ups and downs. And, and uh, it's, it's fun to, to look back on.